Welcome in, everyone, to Lively Lewis Stories. That's right. We're back with even more awesome adventures with Levi and Ivy. Set your story time meter to fun and get ready to join the Lively Lewis crew. All you need is your imagination and... Off we go! I can't wait to see where our story takes us today. Have you ever wanted to get more Lively Lewis in your life? Well, we've got you covered. Grab an adult and zoom over to LivelyLewisShop.com. Or just click on the link in our show notes. Enough about that. Let's get to today's super Lively Lewis story. Ivy, where are you? Called Levi up the stairs to his sister. We're going to be late. Levi was really excited about getting to the zoo that Sunday morning to see the new baby hippo that had just been born there last week. It was the first day it would be on exhibit, and he and Ivy had been talking about going to see it for days. Ivy, I thought we said we were going to be the first ones there to welcome the new baby hippo into this exhibit, shouted Levi as he walked up the stairs. He just couldn't wait by the front door for his sister Ivy any longer. As he walked into her room, she was sitting on the floor surrounded by markers. She was finishing up a card that Levi had started. It was one that they planned to give to the zoo staff that take care of the baby hippo. It was a welcome to the zoo card. While Ivy was doing a great job on her part of it, she was supposed to have it all finished the night before. Levi was not happy, and Ivy could tell. I know, I know, Levi. I should have had the card finished last night, started Ivy as she hurried to finish her picture of the baby hippo. But I had lots of other things to do, like working on my book report that's due tomorrow, and I have to practice some more for soccer tryouts that are coming up this week. So please, just give me a minute, okay? Levi was surprised at how upset Ivy sounded, considering she was the one who was holding them up from getting into the zoo. She also noticed that she's never once said she was sorry. Wow, Ivy, you could have said you were sorry for making us wait, said Levi. I know you're busy, but you've known about that book report for weeks, and you should have told me you needed to practice for soccer tryouts. I could help with that. It just seems that like every time you have a spare minute lately, you're watching that new cartoon, Wonder World. Well, I didn't ask for your help with soccer because I can do it myself. And I've been working as hard as I can on my book report, so just leave me alone, shouted Ivy as she pointed to her door, asking Levi to leave. And I haven't been watching Wonder World all the time. Levi had never seen Ivy act this way before. Her usual positive, happy attitude had changed over the last few weeks when she decided to try out for the travel soccer team and got some big projects assigned at school. She usually was really good about dealing with her schoolwork and after-school activities, but lately, Ivy's family all noticed that she seemed stressed out. Also, anytime she had free time, she would sit by herself and watch episodes of a new cartoon she had recently discovered. Levi, is Ivy ready to leave for the zoo? Called Levi and Ivy's mom when she walked into the living room. Not just yet, answered Levi. She's still working on the welcome card, and surprise, surprise, she's not in the best mood. Oh, no, said Levi and Ivy's mom, looking a little concerned. I wonder why she's been so upset lately. I know she has a lot of things going on right now, but I feel like she hasn't been asking for help. Maybe that's what she needs. Just then, Ivy ran down the stairs and let her mom and brother know that she was ready to leave. She had her tablet in her hands and headed right outside to get in the car after putting on her shoes. Levi just looked at his mom with a smirk and followed her outside. They both thought that maybe getting her out of the house and seeing the new baby hippo would make her feel better. As they drove to the zoo, Levi tried to talk with Ivy, but she was too busy watching a Wonder World episode. He also tried to point out all sorts of cool stuff that they were driving past, like the new ice cream shop in town that was advertising buy one, get one ice cream. However, she wasn't interested in listening. These are all things that would have made her smile, all things she loved but she seemed to be just fine with letting all of those things fly by outside the window rather than enjoying them. She was so focused on her show, in fact, that she didn't even realize they had arrived at the zoo. Ivy, come on, we're here, said Levi as he opened his door after his mom parked the car. Just remember to bring the card for the baby hippo. Ivy then looked up from her screen for the very first time since getting in the car with a very annoyed look on her face. Me remember the card? I thought you had it. She grumbled as she held only her tablet and jumped out of the car. It was at that point her mom stepped in. Ivy, I don't like the way you've been acting lately. You've been rude to Levi and your dad and I for the last few weeks, she began. We'd like to help, but you have to let us. Ivy just pouted and started to walk towards the zoo entrance. Levi and his mom walked quickly behind her, making sure to avoid a large group of kids who were waiting to enter the zoo. However, Ivy wasn't paying any attention to her surroundings and bumped right into one of them. 
She looked up and gave a quick, non-sincere sounding apology. Ivy, wait up, called Levi as he ran over to his sister. We just saw your friend Jenny leaving the zoo. She said the baby hippo is super cute. Jenny, where? Why didn't you tell me you saw her? Said Ivy, sounding upset. Well, she said she waved at you, but you had your head down and rushed by so fast she thought you didn't want to talk, replied Levi. Maybe if you weren't in such a bad mood, you would have been a bit more mindful of your surroundings and you would have seen her. Mindful? What's that? Asked Ivy, sounding confused. And how would that have made me see my friend? So as their mom was paying to get into the zoo, Levi explained what mindfulness was to Ivy. Mindfulness is another way of saying being in the moment, Levi began. It's being really aware of what's going on around you and enjoying the moment fully. Ivy seemed to be listening to Levi, but it was clear to him that she wasn't fully taking it all in. Okay, got it, said Ivy as she looked down at her tablet. I just saw that Wonder World is releasing a new episode tonight. I can't wait to watch it. That sounds great, but right now we're getting ready to go meet that new little hippo. Aren't you excited about that? Levi asked. Sure, said Ivy as she stared at her tablet. Levi gave a big sigh as he walked up to meet his mom. Ivy followed behind looking at her tablet. Ivy, I'm going to have to take the tablet from you. It's time to enjoy the zoo with us, said Ivy's mom, putting her tablet in her bag. Ivy wasn't thrilled about this, but went along with it. She pouted a bit more and walked a few steps behind Levi and their mom. They were both having a wonderful time looking at the amazing animals at the zoo. But Ivy's experience was quite different. She was upset about having her tablet taken away and couldn't help but think about the work she still had to do to finish up with her book report and the practicing she had to do for soccer tryouts. But while she was lost in her own thoughts, so many wonderful things were happening around her. Maybe if she was practicing some mindfulness like Levi told her to, she would have been having a lot more fun. Just then, Levi walked by a zoo, volunteer asking questions about the animals. Being fully in the moment, he heard them ask for someone to help with the program they were running. He walked up, answered a few questions about giraffes, and won himself a free giraffe feeding experience. Exclaimed Levi, holding up the giraffe feeding certificate. Believe what? Ivy asked. She was so busy sulking that she didn't even see Levi answer the questions. Then Levi, Ivy, and their mom approached the reptile exhibit. Levi had always been a little nervous around snakes and other reptiles and decided not to go in. He was aware enough in that moment that he made the decision not to do something that he knew would make him feel uncomfortable. Ivy, on the other hand, was not paying attention to her surroundings and told her mom she'd go to the exhibit with her while Levi sat and waited for them at the exit. He could see them the whole time and watched as Ivy and their mom walked inside the reptile exhibit. Levi was really surprised that Ivy had agreed to go in. She was even more afraid of snakes than he was. And no sooner did he think that, did he hear a loud scream. It was Ivy. Ah, snakes! Screamed Ivy as she ran out of the exit. After making quite a commotion, everyone in the reptile house was looking at her to make sure she was all right. This made Ivy feel embarrassed, and she ran off to the picnic area to get away from the crowd. Levi and their mom followed close behind. When they got to her, they could see she was crying. Mom, let me handle this. I think I know what to do, said Levi. Okay, I'll go get you to a snack, replied his mom as she walked to the food court. Levi knew Ivy walked into the reptile house because she wasn't paying attention to what was going on around her. Okay, Levi, I need your help, said Ivy finally. I just can't seem to focus on what's going on around me lately. I walked into the reptile house because I saw a little kid in a stroller watching a Wonder World episode on a tablet. I wanted to watch too, and I didn't look up to see what exhibit I was walking into. Levi put his arm around Ivy, knowing she was feeling bad. Then as he started to talk with her, he heard a familiar voice calling his name. It was their friend Allie, and boy was Levi happy to see Allie. She was in his class at school and knew all about mindfulness because they had been learning about it the week before. He thought maybe if they worked together, they could help Ivy. So after they said hello, he explained why Ivy seemed so upset and sad. Allie was ready to help as she was waiting for her mom to grab a snack as well. Oh yeah, it definitely sounds like she needs to be a bit more mindful of what's going on around her. And she shouldn't distract herself with things like videos or TV shows when she has tasks to complete. Being in the moment will make her so much happier, Allie said as she walked towards Ivy and sat down next to her. Hi, Ivy, said Allie. Levi told me what's been going on with you lately. And I agree with him that it sounds like you need to concentrate a bit more on what's going on in the present rather than distracting yourself with other things. Ivy liked Allie a lot and was ready to listen to her and Levi. 
She didn't like the way she was feeling or acting lately, and she wanted to make a change. How can mindfulness help me? Asked Ivy. That's when Allie and Levi explained to Ivy that mindfulness is a super special skill that anyone can utilize to get the most out of our day. You don't just want to be wandering along, going through the motions every day, Allie began. You want to make sure you're taking it all in, giving every day your best and your full attention. You'll find that by being mindful, you'll enjoy even the most ordinary things, and that can make any day magical. That's when Allie told Ivy about the amazing time she had in the butterfly garden just before she met up with her and Levi. Oh no, we already walked past the butterfly garden, said Ivy. I love it in there. Maybe if you hadn't been thinking of the new Wonder World episode, you would have noticed when we walked by, said Levi. You have a point, replied Ivy. I've been using that new show to distract myself from all the things I have to do lately. It's just... I have a lot going on. And it's okay to feel overwhelmed, said Allie. But you can't push off doing the work that needs to be done by watching videos. That just makes your situation worse because all the work builds up. Wow, that makes a lot of sense, said Ivy. Thank you both for helping me realize how mindfulness can really help me to get back to being the happy Ivy that I love being. Levi and Ivy's mom, along with Allie's mom, walk over holding some pretzels and juice boxes for everyone to enjoy. And for the first time in a few weeks, Levi and Ivy's mom saw Ivy acting like her old self again. Thank you for talking with her, Levi, said his mom. What did you say to her? Allie and I helped her understand that the moment you're in is the most important moment. One that should be enjoyed to the fullest, said Levi. And that means you can't fill your time with distractions, added Allie. You have to complete tasks when they need to be completed. Have fun when it's time to have fun and be aware of how you have the choice to bring joy or stress into the world around you. I couldn't have said it better myself, said Levi's mom. Now, how about we go see that new baby hippo? Allie, Levi, Ivy jumped up and followed the signs to the hippo exhibit. As they walked along though, Ivy was mindful of all that was going on around her, making the journey to see the new baby hippo just as magical as actually seeing it when she arrived at the exhibit. Ivy suggested while they walked that they play follow the leader with an animal twist. Ivy and Levi loved the idea and they hopped like kangaroos, pretended to fly like eagles, and ran like cheetahs toward the hippo exhibit. Once they were there, they waited behind a huge crowd of people to get a look at the zoo's newest addition. As they waited, Levi watched as Ivy was taking in everything around her. She looked so happy. Then he saw a little girl standing right next to them holding a tablet in her hands. She was watching an episode of Wonder World. That made him wonder, how was Ivy going to handle the situation? It was their turn to step up and see the new hippo, just as Ivy caught sight of that little girl's tablet playing her new favorite show. Levi was hoping that his sister wouldn't miss this wonderful experience of seeing the new baby hippo by turning her attention to a screen. But Levi knew he had to let her make her own decision and watched as Ivy approached the little girl. He thought she was walking closer to get a better look at her tablet but instead he was pleasantly surprised by what he heard Ivy say. Excuse me, said Ivy to the little girl. I've never seen a baby hippo before and I'm thinking maybe you haven't either. I think you should put down the tablet and take in every moment of this experience. We can do it together and make it a special memory that we'll remember forever. You can watch that show anytime, but right now is the only right now that will ever happen. Oh, wow replied the little girl. You're right. She put down her tablet and Levi, Allie, Ivy, and the little girl all walked up to the exhibit window and saw the cutest little hippo they had ever seen, not letting one part of that experience go unnoticed or unappreciated. That was the best day at the zoo ever, exclaimed Ivy when she got back in the car. Thank you, Levi, and thank Allie again for me tomorrow at school. Being mindful is something I will remember forever. Levi was so happy that he helped his sister learn such an important lesson that day, a lesson that he was so excited to see her pass on to someone else. Once back home, Ivy's parents helped her finish up her book report, and then Levi worked with her the rest of the week to get ready for her soccer tryouts. And as they all worked together, Ivy was grateful and appreciative for every moment. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the story and learned a little something too. And since we know everyone has their own story, we'd love to hear yours. If you have an idea for a Lively Lewis story, 
leave a comment on our Apple Podcast review page with five stars, your idea, and your little one's name. Then maybe our next adventure will be with you. Until our next story time hangout. Thanks for listening. We can't wait to share another fun, lively, rumor story with you.